When we do breast augmentation, one of the most common complications that we're trying to avoid is capsular contracture. And what that means is when you put in an artificial device in any person, whether it be a breast implant, a pacemaker, or an artificial joint, is the body makes a layer of tissue around it called a capsule. That happens in the first week, and that's the patient's own tissue. And that's a normal response. Unfortunately, in a minority of patients, that capsule can, capsule can start to contract down and harden. So the breast implant, instead of resting on the chest like a dome shape, becomes rounded, pulls up, distorted, and can become painful. After breast augmentation, there are certain measures that are employed to try to prevent capsular contracture, and most commonly is to massage the breast implant uh, daily. Nevertheless, probably about 20% of patients over the next five to 10 years are going to get that hardening. Now traditionally, it's been taught that the only way to correct that is to go back into surgery and surgically remove that scar tissue and replace the implant. The aspen after surgery actually gives us a non-operative measure to treat that. And what is involved is this. The impetus for that contracture or hardening seems to be bacteria. And it can be seeded from the breast because it's an open gland into the environment. It's uh, the bacteria that's found on that capsule is normal bacteria found on the skin. But what happens is when it lands on that implant, it, it acts differently than bacteria elsewhere in the body and forms what's called a biofilm, like a shell around it so that the antibiotics can't eradicate it. What the aspen after surgery treatment does is an ultrasound device specially designed for the breast that imparts energy and to break up that biofilm so that the antibiotics we prescribe can then eradicate the infection and soften up the breast implant again. Now, when we see patients, the success rate of this depends on how severe the contracture is and how long they've had it. But in the typical patient that comes to us, if it hasn't been too long, if it isn't too far advanced, but it's distorted enough that they can see uh, the distortion and feel the hardness, we get about an 80% response rate.